In this video, we will be looking closer at Tenders.guru, which might come in handy for your work. To give you some context, Tenders.guru is funded by the European Union and coordinated by five non-profit organizations based in four European countries, Hungary, Poland, Romania and Spain. The aim of Tenders.guru is to reduce the risk of corruption by allowing public sector workers, civil society organizations and journalists to analyze public procurement procedures at a local level, as well as the spending of public funds. This is done in part through advocacy and legal recommendations, in part through training and also via an online tool, Tenders.guru. Tenders Guru, which is free and open source, allows you to monitor public procurement processes in Hungary, Poland, Romania and Spain and identify corruption risks. Information such as this can, can prove very useful for your work. Let me explain a bit. The backbone of Tenders back, uh, dot Guru is a complete list of tenders awarded in each country where you can see all of the tender information of the public authority awarding the contract, the company winning the contract, and the final sum, among other data. A powerful search engine gives you easy, straightforward access to all of the tenders, unlike other more traditional procurement portals, which, as we already know, don't always provide access to the information you need. Whether it's from the full list or from the search results, you can access the details of a specific contract displaying the various steps in the procurement procedure and the relevant document documentation. At this point, you can now fine tune the results using the award date, zone, contracting authority, supplier name and contract type filters. Lastly, the results can be downloaded as a spreadsheet to be analyzed later or used for a customized visualization, for example. But in addition to the raw data, tenders.guru also provides an overview of each of the available countries, for example, Spain. This allows you to view the general distribution of contracts over time and filter by contract category. And more importantly, you can also view the distribution of a series of alarm bells, such as the types of procedure used. Bear in mind that non-competitive calls to tender often conceal corruption. You can also browse the number of tenderers. The more there are, the more competitive and efficient the market is potentially. Moreover, you can access the summary page of any contracting authority in the database. This means you can more thoroughly track a specific authority, such as INGESA, for example, the Department of the Ministry of Health responsible for COVID-related purchases. Another interesting red flag which we already mentioned in the red flags video, is the duration of each tender procedure. Corrupt public authorities often open a call to tender for a limited time under the, the guise of a public tender, while notifying one or two specific candidates in advance so that they can come, a, come on top. Tenders.guru lets you uh, view the duration of a procedure in the form of a histogram, either for the entire database or for a specific contracting authority. Thus, it gives you access to the list of tenders with suspiciously short deadlines, while Tenders.guru can't tell, tell you whether there actually is corruption and problems or not, the overview it provides, together with red flag alerts, points journalists in the right direction. In general, you save yourself dozens of tedious hours fighting with official procurement portals. We have done the fighting for you. With this video, we bring to an end our series of public procurement for journalists. We hope it's been useful for you. Please get in touch with us via tenders.guru or cbo.es if you have any questions.